is a unusual Saturday for me. Uh, I've taken like the past two days off so I could go and one, take my lady to the airport. Uh, she's out of town. And uh, then two, so I could just fish and take care of some stuff I needed to get done. So I fished some yesterday um, and then threw some catfish noodles out last night. But didn't get anything to try to alligator meat. I ran out of goose meat. So I tried alligator meat because that's just what I had in the freezer and it didn't work. So I didn't get no catfish. But anyway, back to what I'm doing today. So a couple weeks ago, I had um, a guy reach out to me on Instagram and asked uh, me to call him. And I was like, all right. So the guy is from a uh, offshore racing team. It's called Nobody's Business Offshore Racing. And they're out of Denver, North Carolina. He had me call him and basically asked if I'd be interested in being their, their video and a uh, film guy for him and I was just like sure so long story short uh, I'm on their team as the video and media guy and so today I'm heading out to the lake to go film some some testing I guess he's got a new prop that he put on he wants to test it out so uh, yeah I gotta go grab the jet ski because the war eagle it just ain't fast and this is a fast boat and I can't keep up with it on the war eagle so grabbing my jet ski and we're gonna go meet this fella and of course I brought the jackhammer with me and the urban angler so I can do some fishing it'll stow nice and small in the little jet ski compartment so off to the lake to grab the old jet ski and then out on the water we'll go so we'll see you there oh i also went to uh to dick's yesterday i don't know if any of you guys have a dick sporting goods that's local to you and you know i'm not a fan of dick's but don't underestimate their fishing section if they have one because they, they actually have a lot of stuff and it really doesn't get touched a whole lot because I don't think a whole lot of people realize that the fishing section's good. Or everybody just hates dicks for valid reasons. But, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, this company did this bad thing. Uh, I'm going to stop going because it's going to kill their business. I am one person. I am not going to make a difference in that company. So, I still go, even though I don't like dicks. So... I got um, this color there, and I'll, I'll whenever we I get stopped and get time, I'll show you oh, what I got. But uh, I got two pretty ow oh, shit. This guy just ran off the road and peppered me with the rocks. Freaking rascal! But uh, I got a bunch of stuff, and I caught two good bass with that on that color yesterday, and I got some new weedless wacky. Um, hooks so when I get stopped I'll explain all of what I got um, I like these hooks and they're Guggen and I'll go into whole, my whole spiel on Guggen here after a while but yeah anyway back to cruise to the lake to pick up the jet ski RXP 300X, RXP 300, whatever. It's fast, way faster than the War Eagle. So, I'm gonna go cruise down the lake and find those dudes. And then make my way out there and do some filming. Busy day out on the lake today. Busy, busy, lots of boats. Oh, 
feels like sunscreen down here. Lots of sunscreen. It is packed out here today though. It's hot, so I get it. Chris's house. Here's the race boat. So we just put a different prop on it. And we're gonna go test it out, I reckon. Never ridden in it. So it'd be pretty cool. Coach would lie. This is the main coach told the hit told the other coach, he didn't tell us. The other coach texted us told us. Put it somewhere where you don't see all the rust. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs>
that boat is wild. That is a fast, fast boat. This jet ski will run, you know, 72 or so, but I mean, you gotta pick and choose where you can run that fast on one of these skis. That thing, we're running 88 miles an hour, just busy Saturday on Lake Norman. If anybody lives out here on Lake Norman, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I mean, it is rough out there. And I mean, that's, that's not even rough compared to some places they race at, but I mean, just, yeah. Fast boat, it is wild. Definitely ain't never been on something like that, so that was really cool. So, I guess I'm gonna head back up the lake and find some people and see what they're up to and end off my Saturday. Tomorrow, Dolly comes back, so I'm excited because I'm hungry and she cooks really good and feeds me, so. That's all I got for right now.